Hello Stacking Community, it's the Tennessee Stacker with an unboxing from the best online bullion dealer in my opinion. Who is that? Stay tuned. Hey Stacking Community, I appreciate you joining in to my channel today and I would really appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, help me grow the channel. So as you can see, I am doing an unboxing here and uh the bullion dealer <laughs> that i was uh referring to is monument metals monument metals in my mind is far and away the best bullion dealer out there their prices are usually if not the best it's in the top two or three on junk silver as you can see me opening up uh, this package uh, i got six tubes of dimes here their junk silver is by far and away the best. Sometimes it's better by $8 than anyone else, sometimes 15. It's really amazing uh, the prices they have. But Monument Metals, in my opinion, is, uh, is the way to go. Also, I mean, I order through ACH, um, and so it is, um, it is really easy to order. Um, everything arrives packaged very well. And so, uh, but like I said, I don't have any kind of agreement or anything with Monument Metals, but I just I really uh, order from them a lot. So as you can see here, um, I have uh, six tubes of dimes. Uh, a shout out to Big Stack McGee. I have been watching his channel for a long time, ever since I've been stacking. And he just recently finished last year, I believe, his uh, guardhouse uh, uh, box of quarters, which is very difficult to finish in my opinion because it's a lot, that's a lot of money and a lot of stacking. Um, and quarters are just not the most popular thing to stack. It, it just gets boring. At least with dimes, you've got Mercury's, you've got Roosevelt's. I like the Roosevelt's because uh, they're a lot newer and they usually weigh a little bit more than the, the, the Mercury's that are uh, usually slicked up or can be slicked up. They're just more warm because they are older. But uh, I am uh, starting to focus more uh, on uh, back to my guardhouse box of dimes that I started on about five years ago and kind of I went AWOL from it. Like I said, Big Stack McGee kind of inspired me to uh, to hit, hit, hit it hard again. So I've ordered six tubes here. I've actually got a couple more on the way um, and from Monument Metals because their junk silver prices are just so... Uh, so good. So um, six tubes uh, added to the stack and I'm going to open up my guardhouse box here. And as you can see, um, I'm getting getting close. I'm, I'm uh, with these six uh, tubes adding to the stack. Uh, that's going to give me 39 total. As you can see, mostly all those are Roosevelt's. Uh, I do have two Mercury's. I'm going to get three more mercuries i'm going to have a whole a full row of mercuries um, but i'm mostly going to stack stack the roosevelt's but i do want to have like i said a few mercuries but 39 um, tubes if you if you think about that if you multiply it out times five dollars per tube uh, you're going to get um, a face value of 195 dollars i'm pretty sure and uh, if you take that 100 and, uh, 195, you take that 195, multiply it times 0.715, which is the amount of troy ounces that you have per face value. We're looking at 130, over 139 ounces of silver right there in that box, which is me, is just uh, amazing. Uh, that's why these guard hell guardhouse boxes are so sturdy because they they are will take a lot of weight um haven't calculated the quarter box that may be my next project but that quarter box will hold man just so much more but like i said 139 um yeah 139 ounces right here um in this box didn't look like 139 ounces but that's why these guardhouse boxes are so good when you're, for storage when you're stacking junk silver. Wanted to show you some other coins I'm adding to my stack. And I am a bit of a sucker for these Engelhard Prospector rounds. 
I added five to my stack last year. And I know that's not a whole lot, but I do have a small budget um, for some vintage silver. And I saw these on Monument and they were a pretty good price. Obviously the premium, if the premiums are probably those of an American Silver Eagle, obviously Englehart is not around anymore. They don't make silver. So, you know, to me, I like to buy some of these um, Englehart rounds and, uh, and I think I've got 10 total now. I'm gonna probably add at least 10 more over time. Just stacking them a little bit here and there. And so also I'm adding this 2023 Canadian Maple Leaf. I like to get at least one of the government minted, the main government minted coins each year. Obviously the Canadian Maple Leaf is to me one of my favorites. It is four nines fine silver it's got the radio lines it's got a lot of security features in it so i always like to pick it up to me i love the kangaroo this is a 2023 that i'm adding to me the kangaroo looks just so spectacular uh, the way they do those little starbursts there i guess you call them starburst but i love those those are also four nines those are a little bit pricier than uh the maple leaves the Philharmonics, what can you say? Just ho-hum every year. It's the same coin. No change. It is, that is a 2023. You know, everyone kind of hates them because they don't have a read. But, you know, everyone remembers that they don't have a read. So, I guess they stand out a little bit. You can usually find those really cheap. The 2023 Krugerin. And so, I'm stacking that one. Another cheap one. Same design every year just like the American Eagle and just like the Maple Leaf. I guess all of them have the same design other than the, the Chinese Panda. This is a actually 2023 or 22 uh, Mexican Libertad. I had not bought one last year, so I did get one this year and I'll probably get the 23 when it came out. And then the Armenia, uh, Noah's Ark coined. You know, these are uh, beautiful coins really. It's, and uh, this is a 2023, that's got that mirror finish there. And you can usually pick those up sometimes on these flash sales are really cheap. This is the Type A Britannia. Love the Britannia. They have really stepped their game up with security features lately. This is the last one that the Queen will be on. So we're sure to get one of those for sure uh, with the Queen. Obviously with the Queen passing, I don't know if that'll add any extra value to those coins in the future or not. But I did go ahead and pick up uh, the Type B, uh, the 2023 Type B that does have uh, uh, King Charles on it. Now, here's the thing. The first thing you notice there is that big old scratch on his head. I could not believe it because I was looking forward to seeing this coin and having it because this is the first one that I've actually seen or saw with him on it. So just a little information. I did call Monument Metals or I did email them and uh, I did send this back and they, I did receive a new one already. So uh, glad, I mean, that Monument Metals took care of that. I mean, they didn't question it. They just said, here's, here's a printing label. I printed it off, shipped it back. And I believe from the time I shipped it off and got it back, it was, uh, it was probably within a week or about a week to the, to the day. So really happy uh, with, uh, with Monument Metals. So, hey, 34 ounces of silver added to the stack. Five of those were the Engelhard uh, silver rounds. Eight were government minted. And then 21 ounces of junk silver. Really not junk silver, but it is uh, constitutional silver. I also purchased some new capsules for my coins. These Quadrum Intercept. I'm going to leave a link at the end of this video. I'm going to roll this into a new video so you can uh, watch that there. Thank you for watching. Hope you subscribe. Hope you like the channel and hope you like the video. Appreciate you and we'll see you next time.